How the hell you gonna buy a goddamn engagement ring for a bitch you ain't never even met before, man? <laughs> It is your favorite, favorite auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Catfish, y'all. This is season eight, episode eight, Dijon and Cachet. Before we get into this review, y'all, as always, regular church announcements. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so. I show sure enough damn appreciate you. Before you leave, let me know that you stopped by. Give me a thumbs up and make sure your notification bells are turned on so you will know whenever I upload new content. Y'all look up. Now... I kind of felt bad for both the catfish shirt and the catfish she in this episode. But then again, at the same time, you niggas is grown. How the fuck you don't know how the catfish game work now? That's on you. But um, this episode was good, y'all. I ain't gonna lie, it was good. So hopefully y'all are ready for your review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's go ahead and get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So we got Adonis, 20 years old. Now, both of these guys, they're from Detroit, Michigan, right? Adonis is writing in on behalf of his brother, Dijon. Dijon is 38. He has been taught now. Dijon is a single father of three kids, got his own businesses, bitch carpentry and tow trucking i sent him and he ain't even a bad looking brother near he, he he ain't a bad looking brother in my opinion i like chocolate men as it is anyway i'm gonna need him to get these you know little twist up get your little edge up you know get that together a little edge control and stuff but he's not a bad looking dude you know what i'm saying and the fact that he is single taking care he has custody of his three kids got his own businesses like nigga you better do you daddy but the nigga out here getting catfish. So, his brother Adonis is writing in on his behalf. He's been talking to this bitch named Cache for 21 months. 21 months now. He was exact about the shit. 21 months. Now, they were supposed to have met a couple times. She has a daughter. Um, how old the daughter is, they didn't actually say. But um, they were supposed to have met a couple of times. Eight times to be exact. This bitch stood him up. Every time they FaceTime on the phone, the bitch don't ever show her face on a FaceTime. And what's really fucked up, this bitch is from Detroit. She from this nigga own city. Two years damn near you been talking to her. Ain't got to see her face on a FaceTime. And ain't met up with it eight times this bitch done stood you up. Really, my nigga? Now, this is the thing with um Jadon. He was in an eight-year relationship beforehand. He does not know the whole social media game. He don't know how none of that shit go. He ain't even know what the fuck a catfish was. He thought that was some shit you can go down there to the soul food restaurant, put a little bit of Louisiana hot sauce on. That's the only got a catfish that catfish know. Besides his granddaddy and them going down there to the creek, catching them catfish. Other than that, this nigga don't know about real live bitches that be out here catching, you know, catching niggas catfishing. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. So, he said that she told him she does not have any social medias, right? All she has is that POF. They met on Plenty of Fish. Y'all, now when he said that right there, that should have been a goddamn red flag. Nigga, my daddy's got social media. <laughs> Everybody got, nigga, my pastor's got social media. Everybody got goddamn social media. Even if you don't got social media, you set something up. Just so you can go on there and look at something else. So, nigga, you got a goddamn social media. I ain't believe none of that goddamn shit. When she said that off the rip, I was like, oh, the bitch is a catfish. She ain't showed her face on the goddamn FaceTime. And the bitch claims she ain't got no social media. Girl, get the fuck out of here. Whatever, you lying. So, Neve, you already know Neve. Like, okay, well, I got to see this thing. I'm going to need you to go ahead and call your brother. Let him know we in this thing. We finna call, right? Or we finna help him, whatever, right? So, they end up calling the brother on three-way. The brother pick up the phone, Dijon, and he looking like, uh, who is these white people on the screen? A nigga. Should I talk? Should I move? The nigga started buffering on their ass. He was just sitting there still like, uh, nigga, who is these white folks? Are you, okay, it's cool. Okay, cool. Hey. Y'all can see me in the TV. <laughs> Just playing. He wasn't that goddamn old. Hell, I'm older than him. But nigga, I know what the fuck a goddamn catfish is. I'm just saying on that's on that. So, Neve was like, hey, how you doing? 
I'm your local catch a catfishing bitch out here. Catfishing bitches, my name is Neve. This my bitch right here, Cammy. We here to help you. What's good? What's popping? What's popping, bitch? What's popping? Adonis is like, look here. So I, these are people that I done reached out to. They supposed to help you find out who this catfishing bitch is that you talking to. They finna come help us out. What's good? So they end up going and meeting up with Jadon in Detroit, right? They sitting down getting all this information about Cachet. Now, she has sent him pictures. She has sent him full body pictures, sent him nude, butt naked pictures and all of that of her face in the butt naked pictures and all of that. Now, like I say, he is fresh out of an eight-year relationship. Automatically, he, she said that she actually slid up into his DMs. He was just caught off guard because she was so beautiful and wanted to talk to him. So, he's just blinded by love he is in love with the bitch like ready to go out and do that goddamn thing right so neva kim is like okay so how in the hell is it you've been talking to this girl for this long she's sending you bucket naked pictures and she don't bring her face on facetime but you still willing to talk to her and then all this other bullshit child let me let me listen listen to this shit bitch get your drink this nigga ain't met this female Ain't seen her on FaceTime. She done stood him up eight times. Bitch, this nigga done went to Jared and bought this whole ring. Bitch, yes, he did. Yes, he fucking did. With currants, bitch. Currants. Real diamonds shine bright like a diamond, goddammit. I said, oh, this nigga right here is tripping. All right, y'all. So, Neve and Cammy go to investigate. They got the John with them. They like, look here, nigga. Uh, we about to go... Catch this bitch catfishing right goddamn now. You want to come kick it with us? He's like, all right, bet. Cool. If y'all cool with it, I'm cool with it. Cool with it. Cool. So they end up going and doing the little investigation, right? First, they start searching the phone number. It comes up as no name, but their social media profiles linked to the phone number. They click on the Facebook, and it comes up as this girl named Ebony. Now, it hasn't been updated since 2016, so Neve is like, okay, well, this doesn't seem like it's too active. Let's search her on IG. They end up searching her on IG. Boom, she pops up, this chick named Ebony, right? So they like, well, this is really weird. She's only following four people. Two of the people, uh, one is Megan Trainer and the other one is Christy Teigen. One chick name is Barbie and the other chick name is Sid. They click on the chick Barbie profile. It's the pictures of the real girl, Cachet. Turns out her real name is Nikita. She's 26 from ATL. And they're like, okay, so we done found out that this ain't the real girl that you've been talking to. Come to find out this is other girl, but still... Who the fuck is you really talking to? So they end up sending a message to homegirl Nikita because they had her phone number on there. Listen, y'all don't put your goddamn phone numbers on your social media shit like that. Anybody can goddamn call you, which they did. Neve ended up calling her was like, look, bitch, let me tell you. um, This Neve catfish, what's going on? What's popping? Look here, somebody out here catfishing bitches with your pictures they got your monkey and all of that so i'm gonna need you to call me back as soon as you get this message bitch if you don't call me back you end up on porn hub bitch don't say i ain't trying to warn you so then child they go and click on the other girl's profile that was on there too remember it was only four the other chick name is sid right and so they like well i wonder who could this be they end up sending her a message what's going on this catfish and local catch a bitch Catfish and bitches out here. We film in an episode. We need your help to see how you know somebody. How can you help us, right? Holla back at a nigga. So they sitting back. They chopping it up. Sydney ends up calling back. She's like, hello, what's going on? Who is this? What's popping? And he was like, what's going on? What it do? I done already left that on the message. Look here. We see that you are friends with somebody that we trying to find out. Look here. Peer, point blank, peer. We know a bitch is out here catfishing. All right? Who is Cachet? She was like, hold on, who being catfished though? Neve said, oh, bitch, what? Oh, why you wanna? Jadon. Oh, what is that? The John. Is that the nigga name? The John. Do you know who the fuck he is? And she was like, nah, mm, I don't know who he is. But uh, she was like, uh, Neve said, okay. Well, do you know a bitch named Cachet? She was like, oh, yeah, I know Cachet. Say it with me now. Bingo. We got action. Neve is like, okay, so how do you know Cachet? 
She's talking about, well, I really can't talk right now because I'm at work and I don't feel comfortable talking about it, but I'm going to send you this address and you can call me, you, well, you know what I'm saying, and meet me over here at this address. Neve is like, all right, bitch, don't you bullshit me because I show up at the grass at your mama house. Don't fucking play with me. So he hangs up the phone. She ends up sending this nigga a message. Meanwhile, this nigga, John. Ho, oh, sitting over there on the side, I'm like a broke dick dog. I mean, that nigga heart was hurt. Hurt. His goddamn feelings was hurt. That's when I started feeling bad. I started feeling bad for the nigga when he said he FaceTimed the bitch and she didn't want to get back on FaceTime. I'm like, damn, nigga. I felt bad for the nigga. Then you know when he spent some currants, spent some shmoney on this bitch, you don't even know her? Mm-mm. So, they end up going to the address that Sydney sent them because, of course, like I said, bitch claims she can talk on the phone, right? Child, they driving down this long, little windy road. That shit looked like some shit out of a Stephen King movie, straight The Shining. I mean, it's uh, snowing everywhere, and they driving down this long, white. That was creepy as hell. And then when they get to the end of the road, the chick is sitting far off. Y'all bitches gonna get enough of sitting off far off, creeping and shit, so you can see who will do it. Bitch, we trying to catch you, not you catch us. The fuck? So she sit, she's sitting like far off at this damn park bench, little pavilion, gazebo type thing. They, I mean, it's like the goddamn Green Mile. It was long as hell. I'm like, bitch, I'm going to need you. Come meet me halfway, goddammit. So they go out there, meet her. She says that Cache is actually her cousin, that she does this. This, this bitch does this for a hobby. She just does that for fun. She apologizes to him for him actually, you know, thinking that it was somebody else, for him having to go through that, for him having to been, you know, lied to. She's like, I'm sorry. So Neve is like, well, what is your kinfolk real name? She's like, I don't want to say. Neve was like, bitch. All right, well, you can't tell us nothing now? All right, well, we finna go then. I mean, y'all appreciate you, but we finna go ahead and go because we finna holler at her. And, you know, thank you for letting us know what you did, but you ain't really told us nothing. Bye. So they end up leaving from there. Child, they end up calling Cache. Neve is like, uh, she asked the phone. She said, hello. And goddamn, the John is like, that's that bitch. That's that bitch. He's like, oh, uh, what's going on? This is Neve. I make the show Catfish. I know you done already talked to your kinfolk because I can see the bitch on the phone as soon as we was walking away. So she done already hipped it to some game that you know what was popping. What's good? She said, oh, uh, I'm not ready for this. It sounded like she was laughing in the background. And quite honestly, that's when a light kind of went off like, this song, something ain't right with this chick. So then he tells her, bitch, why you keep keep kind, kai um, we need to meet up because you done did my nigga dirty here. So what's good? When we gonna meet up? She say that, you know, she not ready right now. Then said, well, look here, bitch, I'm gonna give you 24 hours. I'm gonna need you to call me in the morning. Let me know where you gonna be at and we gonna meet you. Is that good? She said, yeah, that's fine. Neve said, all right, that's cool. So child, next morning, she sends them the address to where her little place is, right? Child, she stays 10 minutes away from this nigga. Y'all heard me. 10 minutes away. Nigga, you didn't need no plane, train, or automobile to get to this bitch. Really? Child, they end up going to the house. The girl comes out and we meet Gervais. Gervais had some gorgeous eyes. She had some really gorgeous eyes. Off the bat, you could tell she was like really nervous and overwhelmed. She was like jittery. Like she was, it seemed like she was, and I ain't, uh, please don't nobody get mad at me when I said, she seemed like she was kind of tweaking a little bit. Like, she had the little tweaker thing to her, just a little bit. So she was like really overwhelmed. You know, she apologized and she said that, you know, she was actually on POF, cat out there catfishing and just so happened to slide in his inbox. He responded back and they clicked and it's just been that way ever since. Child, he was like, bitch, you know, I'm about to buy a ring for your mop head ass bitch. So Neve is like, nigga, you stay right around the corner. Do you know him? Have you ever seen him out on the street? She say, no, nah, she ain't never seen him, but I'll try. I don't know. I don't believe that shit. Cammy asked her, well, do you have kids? She said, no. So she lied about having goddamn kids. Child. Goddamn, the job was like, I was thinking the same thing. Bitch, I need a break. Because the shit just started getting more and more just a little bit weird, right? So long story short. 
They end up going in the house, sitting down and talking. Homegirl, I don't know like what kind of light switch went off because she started off like real cool, like chilling or whatever, right? As they get in there and they talking, like she said, like, I'm weird and I didn't know if people would really like me. And it was kind of sad because like Neve was saying, he basically called her out. Like, you know, you already got it set in your mind that such and such isn't going to like you or people aren't going to like you. And so you use this, you know, persona that I'm weird to push that off and to push that in people's face. So that's the first thing that they see. So it's like you kind of setting yourself up for failure because she doesn't seem like a bad girl. She doesn't seem like she has like malicious evil intent but she was kind of off she was kind of off like Cammy had asked her a question and girl she kind of like did like this and like slid and like fell out of her chair and it was all looking like what the hell what the fuck is going on like she was just she seemed very manic she seemed very manic and so the Jones is basically like, okay, how we gonna get past this shit right here? Cause uh, bitch, I don't know if we can be friends. Cause I don't think you on your medicines, and just something ain't right with you now. Now she wants to be friends with him. He like, oh hell to the no, we can't be friends, bitch. We can't even be pen pals. God damn it, no. This girl says that she has 17 different profiles that she done catfish niggas with. Kimmy asked her, how are you getting the nudes of old girl? Bitch, get your cup again. This half would say she'll call up her homeboy, tell her homeboy to befriend homegirl. She gets to knowing him, get down, get cool with him. She's sending butt naked to this nigga. She gives them, he gives them to her so that she can give them to Dijon. I said, the bitch is weird, but she fucking clever. She clever as hell. I said, this is, this is just fucking crazy, y'all. The whole situation was weird as hell. Long story short, he on, he was like, no, nah, look here, you know, we, 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 we can, you know, I let me sleep on it and I'll let you know how I feel about this shit later on. But driving home, he was like, oh, hell no, to the no, 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 I'm not going to be friends with this crazy bitch. Two months later now, he said that he made earrings for his little girls with the diamond earrings and that he talked to Cachet a couple times afterwards, but nothing really developed from that, right? He was like, nah, that bitch crazy. I can't fuck with that. So he ended up calling, um, they did a two-month follow-up on Cachet. This bitch still out there catfishing niggas. I wonder if you, if your ass is this nigga Dion the Demon, the Dion the Damon, that think he out here trying to catfish me. Look at niggas, stay your ass. Way from around here now. I done told you that. God damn it. Y'all, look here. That was the end of the episode. Now, if it was anything that I missed, I think I hit on all the points because it was a lot going on. Drop it down below and let me know. Y'all already know. I appreciate you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And your Auntie Mo will see y'all in the next video. Peace out.